assalamu alaikum guys how are you i hope you're doing good and welcome to another video in this video i will show you a full review of the latest official build of havoc os havoc os its version is 3.2 now it's official as you can see here it's android version is 10 its security patch is 5 february 2020 the rom is pretty amazing and uh, uh, its performance is just bomb and uh, so without any further ado uh, let's get started let's review the rom <laughs> this thing i really like it in this room the edge lighting it looks really amazing and it makes my mobile phone different from my friends and its overall performance and uh, uh, the overall experience speed wise and battery wise is just amazing and there is no any single bug or issue in this room everything is working fine and its performance is just lit even on the stroke kernel so its overall performance and gaming performance is just amazing and in the home screen we have this simple pixel launcher then we have widgets and styles and wallpapers in the styles we have four styles pre-installed you can make your own by clicking on the custom button in the clock we have the default one and samsung which i really like and then type bubble analog and binary i always use the samsung and in the wallpaper we have this simple wallpaper you can also install the live wallpapers by watching my previous videos uh, the overall performance and op app opening speed of this rom is just amazing as you can see here it is opening the apps quickly and uh, in the camera we don't have any MIUI or uh, any Gcam pre-installed in this ROM here we have the simple camera you can also install the uh, Gcam 7.3 uh, from the link in the description or any Google camera from the link in the description on Redmi 5 or any Android device so after it you can see i uh, installed all my android application and they all are working fine so in the quick sighting we have a lot of uh, shortcuts here that are working good and here we also have the gaming mode shortcut which is also working and in the settings we have a search bar at a glance then we have network and internet connected devices and configuration settings center where we have all available customization first of all we have the status bar uh, customization from here you can make changes in the cloak style and you can also enable the custom logo for the status bar then we have some gestures like brightness control double tap to sleep network indicator and uh, carrier label you can change the battery icon style you can manage the battery percentage status bar items and some icon settings then we have the quick settings from here you can manage quick pull down and uh, you can also enable the header image and you can also enable or disable the background bag, uh, blur which is also working good you can also enable the battery header and style any image collection from this list So after it we have some other settings of quick settings and at the end we have some icon settings then we have the screen options use framework values and here we also have the screen stabilizer and then we have the ambient display in the ambient display we also have the always on display which is working fine and looks really amazing then we have some double tap to uh, check and pocket detection and this type of settings then we have button settings in the button setting you can manage the power button and volume rocker buttons and here we also have a new setting uh, of screen of torch 
but it is not working so keep it off then we have the gestures here we have jump to camera system navigation in the system navigation we have uh, the navigation gesture settings uh, like uh, you can set the higher sensitivity and uh, amount of screen then you can also enable the haptic uh, feedback for back gestures and uh, you can also enable or disable the animation arrows then you can also hide the pill then we have the prevent rigging swipe to uh, screenshot and uh, touch screen gestures after it we have the navigation bar you can invert the layout and then we have the lock screen settings from here you can make double tap to sleeve media cover art music visualizer pocket detection and this type of settings then we have notifications here we have some led settings and uh, flashlight setting and we also have the edge light which is working fine and looks really cool then we have the heads up and source timer and uh, this type of settings then we have the animations and the battery saving option here we have suspend actions and in the misc we have some gaming options like this is the advanced gaming mode wake on charge charging animation and screen shoot type and you can also check the about of this room and in the battery the battery performance of this room is just amazing even without custom kernel its battery performance is just amazing here we have the battery saver adaptive uh, battery and smart charging then we have the display in the display we have all same setting from the previous roms and in the phone size we have a lot of phone sizes and in the display size we have five types of display sizes and here we also have the always on display and you can also uh, choose the display cutout it is working fine and uh, then you can change the st style and wallpaper you can enable or disable the dark theme uh, you can change the accent colors then you can change the head uh, headline body font I am using the Google Sans and you can also change the icon shape and in the sound quality we uh, have the me sound enhancer which will be uh, used to enhance sound quality in this quality the fingerprint of this ROM is working fine then we have digital well-being and system in the system we have languages and input date and time backup reset options multiple users and in the about phone you can check your Android version and have oak version which is the 3.2 official and its Android version is 10 the ROM is pretty stable and if you are looking a uh, be strong for your Redmi Fire this ROM is recommended for you so if you want to install this rom on your redmi 5 just download the rom and the gfs from the link in the description reboot your device into any installed custom recovery go to wipe wipe everything except the internal storage and sd card now go to install and flash the downloaded rom plus gfs now reboot and you will be in this rom so if you like this video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting peace